Hi. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to build a really quick rough armature for a humanoid model in Blender. So go ahead and open up your model, then hit space, add armature. Now you see it added a single bone at where our cursor was, which was the origin. So we're going to want to go ahead and rotate it uh, so that it's facing straight up if it isn't already. I'm going to go into wireframe mode and then edit mode. Now we can select the whole bone and move it so that the base is right at the waist. Then select the tip and move it so that it's right at the midsection. Then we're going to hit E for extrude and constrain it to the vertical and move it right to the base of the neck right there. And do the same thing again, extrude vertically to the top of the neck, then extrude vertically to the top of the head. Now we're going to go, on and go into the editing button, or hit F9, and click on x-axis mirror. This will allow us to extrude symmetrically on both sides. So select uh, the joint at the base of the neck, then shift E for symmetrical extrude out to uh, sort of the base of the shoulder right there. Then shift E to the middle of the elbow, and then shift E to the wrist. And the hands aren't really articulated uh, in this model, so we're going to go ahead and just do a single bone for the entire hand, like that. Symmetrical on both sides. Now we can select this joint at the base of the spine and symmetrically extrude some hip bones about right there. Then symmetrically extrude to the middle of the knee, some thigh bones. And then symmetrically extrude to right about there, some shin bones. Go into the side view. Uh, and actually we're going to move this, move this down to sort of the middle of the foot, right about there. Now we can extrude straight forward to the joint in the foot, then again to the tip of the toe. Now we can select this uh, sort of heel joint and symmetrically extrude straight down. doesn't have to be terribly big, just so long as you can easily select it. Um, it's sort of a handle for the whole leg. Now uh, we can adjust the positions of some of the bones. A little bit easier if we go into stick mode. And we can go into side view. And you see, it's not um, the bones in the arm aren't really lining up with the arm itself. So I'm going to navigate around and grab each of the joints and then adjust it so it's right where we want it, which we can maybe see a little bit better if we turn on solid mode and then x-ray. So we select this uh, wrist bone, move it to kind of the middle of the wrist, and select this joint right here, and move it to the middle of the tips of the fingers. And you see it did it symmetrically on the other side because we have x-axis mirror turned on. Now we're going to select uh, the knee joint we're going to move it just a little bit forward, which is going to come in handy later on uh, when we're trying not to get the knees to bend backwards. Then we can symmetrically extrude uh, straight out a short bone like that. Uh, this will come in handy later. I'm not really going to deal with it right now. Then select kind of the middle of the back, or really anywhere. It doesn't matter where we extrude this bone because this is our master bone, which is sort of a handle for the uh, the whole armature. I just generally put it in the middle of the back because that's more convenient. And now we have a uh, basic humanoid armature. There are a few adjustments that need to be made before we can actually put it into use, so be sure to watch my next video where I show you how to do all of that.